I have another question on the channel that I received. So this is actually quite interesting. So I had a, a, a video about lung fibrosis and basically someone is asking whether um, Symbicort can control fibrosis. And I think this is an important question because many people put a lot of faith in these inhalers. However, I would like to just point out that these inhalers are developed for asthma and COPD generally. And sometimes they are used off-label for some other conditions, but I would say in the case of fibrosis, this is not really the appropriate treatment. And if you do suffer with lung fibrosis, I would suggest talking to your doctor about what the, the best treatment is in your case. However, that being said, I would like to point out the fact that some people may have had some scarring in their lungs from a bad chest infection or some sort of bad thing that happened to their lungs in the past and they may have some scarring and in that case they may also have evidence of an obstruction in their lungs for example something like COPD so this is also something that's common in patients who have had tuberculosis so if you've had tuberculosis in the past and you know you've got a little bit of a sequelae from from the tuberculosis it might actually do a little bit to control your symptoms However, the effect of the inhaler on the fibrosis is, is really non-existent. It's really an effect at the level of the airways. So if there is a little bit of an airways disease, it might help with that. However, the actual fibrosis is deeper within the lungs where, where the inhaler doesn't really reach it and it's a completely different process. So I would say in this situation, probably the inhalers won't help directly with the fibrosis unless there is a component of an airways disease as well associated to it. Hopefully this is helpful and if you have any other questions do leave them in the comment section below. All the best and good health.